everyone. Welcome back to MK Quilts. I'm MK. This is Mr. MK. And we're coming to you today from our studio here in Palm Harbor, Florida. Just because some of you may not know about us, we are national retailers for Handy Quilter. We are physically located in Florida, but we sell long arm machines all over the country. I'm kind of the quilting side of MK Quilts, and my loving husband and business partner is the tech side of the house. And everything else. <laughs> yes, I'm the CEO, he's the CEE, which is? Chief of everything else. <laughs> So we are making a short video today and what we're really focusing on today is a little tool called a mouse pen. Now, what does this have to do with long arming? Well, I'm going to show you how to attach one of these devices to one of our older style machines. So today we're working on an Avante style machine. You may have an Avante, you may have a Fusion, you may have a Genomi machine, any of those machines that do not have the programmable handlebars like we have on our newer machines. But first of all, before we get to this, Paul and I want to talk to you a little bit about what we do with regard to used machines. So Paul, what are we working on today and how did we acquire this machine? So we're working on a Babylock Crown Jewel 2. So the Avantes had three different generations and so did the Crown Jewels. They're basically the same machine, 100%, okay, except for the labeling. So we take them in a trade when somebody buys an Amara or Forte and they don't want to sell it locally, they just want to trade it in. We, we give them a trade in value for it and then we refurbish it. We test it out. We replace some things. Sometimes we add little things like the laser light to it and some throat lighting. Um, and then we resell them, okay? So they're usually around ten to $11,000 for a used machine with Pro Stitcher. Unfortunately, this one sold and we are out of stock, but I do expect them to come in. So if you're looking for a starter machine around $10,000, get on the list, call us. And with that, we give you a year warranty, a new frame and membership on our MK Quilts University. So just to expand on that a little bit, Let's talk about the person who really just wants to get into long arming. They would love a computerized machine. They're not sure that they're ready to jump into a full on Amara or Forte or Infinity. These machines that we take in on trade are the perfect starter machine if that person is you. Now let's talk about the person who maybe has one of these machines and would like to trade it in like Paul just explained. One of the things about jumping from this machine or an Avante up to an Amara is you don't really have to change out your frame most of the time. Paul, will you explain that a little bit? Yeah, so the um, Avante runs on a studio frame, okay? The Amara is 20 inches instead of 18, and for about $400, you can change the side arms on your studio frame to become a studio two. And the studio two is usually a $2,000 plus um, product. So you're saving a lot of money. You don't have to deal with the hassles. And I can deduct $2,000 from the cost of a new Amara because you don't need the frame. Okay, so if you didn't quite understand all of that, please give us a call. Because if you have an Avante or if you have a Crown Jewel, Nine times out of 10, it is very easy for you to upgrade. We will take that machine in trade most of the time. Just give Paul a call and talk with him about your specific set of, your, your specific scenario basically. And he will walk you through. And just remember, we are national retailers for Handy Quilter. So anywhere in the lower 48, give us a call, 727-935. 1739 extension number three that puts you right in touch with Paul and he can talk to you all about an upgrade. We've got floor model machines available. We've got new machines in the box. We have a lot of different situations that we can fulfill for you and we can do that in a pretty short turnaround. Okay. So, so tell us about the pen. This is exciting. Okay. So one of the things, as I mentioned early on in this video, is that those newer machines that I was just mentioning, the Amara and the Forte, have programmable handlebars. So what that helps us with, we Pro Stitcher users, 
is when we are ready to mark an area and drop a block into that area, we can use a button on our handlebar to do all of this multi-point marking. Well, the thing about an, an Avante owner or say a Fusion owner is you can still do the multi-point marking with your area, but you've got to touch the screen to make that happen. So what that means is you're looking down and then you're looking up to punch the, the screen. And then you're looking down and you're looking up. And that just can be, let's, let's just face it, it's kind of laborious, right? So what this little device does is help you to kind of mimic a programmable handlebar. So first things first, the one that I have ordered, I will put a link in the description. It is a basic mouse pen, okay? I got it on Amazon, nothing fancy. Mine was about $10, okay, so nothing fancy. You can get more fancy versions, but really all you need is this mouse pen. Now mine is battery operated, you can get ones I'm sure that are rechargeable. It comes with the little USB fob on it. Now this device can be plugged into a computer and used like a mouse. It's just in a different shape, okay? So it's a mouse for clicking, for doing all the things that you would do with a mouse. Okay, so the first thing is we need to take our little USB fob and plug it into the machine. So Paul, I'm gonna go ahead and let you plug that in. Now on these older style machines, your USB ports are behind your tablet, okay? Don't confuse them with the power USB ports underneath the handlebars. They're great for accessories, and this machine has a lot of accessories on it. But you want to be plugged into a USB port that communicates with the tablet, and the only ones that do that are on the back of your machine. So now you've just taken up one of those ports with this device. You still have another port there so that you can use a flash drive to bring designs back and forth. Okay, so no problem there. All right, the next thing is you obviously need to power up the device. On mine, it's just a little button on the back of the device and you will see it come on and most likely you will see some light start flashing to indicate that it is on. Okay, the next thing we have to do is attach it to our handlebar. That is the most logical place to attach it. Now you see, I have a very, very, you know, advanced kind of a, an item here. This is a hair scrunchie. You could probably use a rubber band. You could probably use some Velcro or a number of different things. The point of it is we need to get this attached to the handlebar. So I am going to attach mine to the handlebar so that the laser part of it is pointing down and the little click button is on the side so that when this is attached and I hold on to my handlebar, I can get very easily to that little button. That little button that I was just pointing to, that is equivalent to the left click button on a mouse, okay? All right, so I just have a piece of practice fabric loaded. I've got my device now attached to the handlebar. I don't have anything on my screen, but what we are simulating in this exercise is that I have a block, some sort of a block on my quilt, and I want to put a block from our designs library into that block, and I need to use the multi-point mark function. So I'm just going to go quickly into the file designs library, and I'm just going to pull up a simple free block from the handy quilter library. Okay, it's just called orange peel. Okay, now normally without this device, what you would be doing is going up into the area tab, you would be coming to your first corner, and then you would have to once again reach up to the, to the tablet, depress multi-point mark, come over to your next spot, depress multi-point mark again, and it, this, this process, you guys, is obviously totally doable. Many of you with these machines have been doing this probably for many years, <laughs> okay? So we have our area box marked, and what we would do is now probably go to the skew function to skew that block into our area box. Okay, let's try the exact same thing, but we're gonna use our little mouse pen. So I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna go ahead and clear my area. My block is still open on the screen. Now I've been testing this product a little bit, and here's what I have found. 
The very first mark that you do, you must use your tablet for that, okay? So basically what that is doing is communicating with the mouse pen to tell the mouse pen what you're pointed at. Okay, so we're gonna go up to our first corner of our block and we're gonna do an area multi-point mark. Now our mouse pen should know that that is the last button that we depressed. So I'm gonna go over to the next corner and without looking up at my tablet, I'm gonna hit the little button on the mouse pen. And did you hear it ding on the screen? And did you see my head look up at the screen? No, you didn't. Okay, so I'm gonna look down, go to the next corner, and go to the next corner. And just like that, I have gotten the exact same multi-point marked area created, but I did not have to look up at the monitor. Okay, my next step would be to just do modify skew. We are running Pro Stitcher version 537, which is the most current version as of the date of this recording. So I'm just gonna do the skew button. I'm gonna look at my screen, see if everything looks okay. It looks okay, however, it's not fitting perfectly. So I'm just gonna do a border skew instead. That looks better. I would hit baseline, I would save this block, and I would stitch. Isn't that like a game changer, you guys? I'm telling you, for, for $10 and a, and a AAA battery, beautiful. Now, the last thing before we go is I do wanna mention that we do have an accessory added onto this machine that is another game changer. Back to those newer machines that I talked about earlier, those new machines have built-in laser lights and those laser lights point directly at the needle. Well, we have an add-on accessory, it's called the Pinpoint Laser, and it can be added on to any one of these older style machines. You just take it out of the box, you use a little double-sided stick tape, you put it onto your machine, the laser light is adjustable, so you can turn that laser light to point exactly at your needle, you plug in the USB port into your handlebars, and now you have a laser light, just like we have on those newer machines, and with this mouse pen, you have the programmable handlebars, kind of. Okay, you guys, so I want you to try this. Again, I will drop in the link to the one that I purchased. If you want a fancier one, by all means, get what you want. But this little tool can really make things go a lot faster in your studio. All right, you guys, thanks so much for joining us. Remember, if you're interested in one of our used machines, one of our floor models, if you have a machine that you'd like to trade in, please give us a call. We would love to talk to you and we would love to welcome you into our owner's community. As this video fades out, we're gonna drop a little bit of information also about our online training site called MK Quilts University. There is so much that we have to offer here at MK Quilts. We hope that you'll check it out. All right, until next time, you guys, from my studio to yours. Happy quilting, bye-bye.